Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Before I start the video, like, share, subscribe. Um, y'all definitely like the video. And, um, leave a comment and smash the bell so that you can be notified when we upload new content. Look, I just wanted to let you guys know, if you have made it to this channel, you, first of all, I'm inviting you into my realm, into my room, into my perspective, which are all the three same things, right? And... And if you have made it to this channel, I don't want you to think that this is a coincidence. You are on a journey of ascension, of realizing who you really are, right? And who you are is everything, right? Also... I wanted to talk about acceptance, right? Now, a lot of times we have problems accepting negative things, right? But how many of you have problems accepting positive things? A lot of us do, right? We have problems accepting the positive things about ourselves. And that's why we can't get nowhere, right? So, but those who have made it to this channel are not in that realm. Are not in that realm of we can't get nowhere. Those who have made it to this channel is on a journey of self-discovery, right? You are on a journey of learning about your true self. And how do you do that? You might, you might want to know. I'm glad you asked. Look around you. Point blank. How do you learn about who you are? How do you learn about who the Creator wants you to be? Who the, where the universe is, in what direction you're going, right? All you have to do. Is look around you and listen and be quiet. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. I I hate I hate doing this, but I gotta get a cigarette before <laughs> before I start my run. <laughs> I hate these freaking gloves because I can't grab nothing. But, yes, guys, look around you. Look around you and you will see where you are in life or what. Who's around you? Right? Who's around you? What's around you? You will see so much by hi. Uh huh. Oh Lord Jesus. No Lord. Oh, I just got caught. Okay, so I'm going to tell y'all what's going on while I said that. So, the lady is getting on at this stop. This is the last stop. So, if somebody's getting on at this stop, and she's usually the one that I pick up in the evening, so that means that my day going to be long as shit because she... Because she's getting on at the first stop. Now, if she would... 
she getting on at the first stop, that means I got to drop her off in the evening from this stop and study in the city, uh, you know, in the city. That means I got a long day. I hope she catching an early bus today. <laughs> I hope she catching an early bus today. Shit. I ain't got time. So I <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway. But yeah, y'all. Just to know, you know, the way you figure out, the way you figure out where you're at in life, look around you. If you're around a lot of trees, just say you work around a lot of trees, like around where it's a lot of nature and stuff like that. But you live in like the quote unquote city, like in the, just say the inner city. That means the universe is trying to steer you in a natural direction and you got to get your mind together a little bit more right so to manifest yourself out to live in a scenic area where it's a lot of trees because if you're not living around a lot of trees yo if you're not living around a lot of trees you are not getting the correct amount of oxygen you are not um thinking correctly <laughs> that's just what it is if you is around all that carbon from the city life, you know, and you don't get your real trees, which is out, you know, far in the county areas. If you live in the city, work in the city, you're really not getting the oxygen unless you're taking trips to like parks and stuff like that so you can breathe in that, that good ass piranha. <laughs> In my Ralph Smart voice. <laughs> you need to breathe in that good ass prana. Yeah, on it. But. How you do that. How you manifest yourself. Into. Um, that realm. I'm going to tell you exactly how we did it. Whatever you want, you got to be exact about what you want. Exact. I mean, the more exact, the more likely you are to get it. I wanted a house. You can ask Tay. I put a house under my pillow. Now, I didn't manifest the exact house. But I manifested, well, we manifested a house. Because he was on board and everything. But I had this house under my pillow for like, I don't know, I want to say like a couple weeks. When I started doing the manifesting videos a couple months ago, y'all, this was a couple months ago. I was starting to, because he was, where we was at was like driving him crazy. So I pretty much... I, I start putting a picture of a house under my pillow. And oh, another thing I did, I put my um, subscriber amount that I want, I put it up right beside the bed. I tagged it up right there. I got a picture of it in one of the videos. Yeah. The cigarette. Oh, well, it must wasn't meant. But who was this? Oh my goodness. Hi, Burns. Burns Junk Closet. How you doing, sweetie? <laughs> How are you? It's good to see you too, honey. <laughs> I'm just sitting here running my mouth. <laughs> I'm talking about, you know... How to figure out where you are in life and how to get yourself where you need to be. It's never going to come from anything outside of you, ever. Whatever you want, 
it is ever never going to come from anything outside of you it starts with you because you are the source and once you realize that you can just about have anything you want and you will discover that things are not what where it's at but you will acquire things when when you your mind gets to, to a healthy state you will acquire things that's just a byproduct of having a healthy state of mind you could oh good I'm good sweetie I am over the moon <laughs> I'm I'm happy thank you so much but yeah so yeah your, your, your state of mind your surroundings it really tells what state of mind you're in I'm telling you, of where you find yourself on a daily basis, you know, um, the people that surround you on a daily basis, it shows, because they're only reflections of you, and reflections of where you are in life, so if you're around a lot of people that's, you know, not carrying, they're a reflection of you, but they are your opposite is very hard to explain you did oh I gotta check that out I gotta check that out anybody that ever checks out this video go check out Vern's junk closet positive change things will bring yes absolutely absolutely it's like <clears throat> And accept the fact that you are a great human being, that you are, because sometimes we can't even accept the fact that we deserve something. My case in point, me and my daughter was talking about this one lady who had a gang of subscribers. She had a lot of subscribers, like, I don't know, 10,000 or more. And then one of her subscribers said, Next week, we're going to have 20000 And she was, you know, it was like she was multiplying so fast that it was making everybody, it was blowing people's minds the way her subscribers was building because she she kept saying, we great, uh, we building. She kept, you know, making it known that she was, you know, she accepted her greatness. But her one subscriber said, yeah, next week, we going we going to hit that something something mark. I forget what number it was. She said, "Wait a minute. Don't jump the gun." And guess what happened when she said, "Don't jump the gun." My daughter was like, "A week later, she was looking for that channel and couldn't find it. That channel disappeared." Now the object the objective to this story is or the takeaway I got never she blocked her blessing she just blocked that out she stamped her whole channel out the box when she told that subscriber no don't jump the gun jump it I'm gonna get a million subscribers I'm gonna get yes I am absolutely I want it next year I want it next year. Shoot for the stars. And if you get to the moon, you good any you still good. You know what I mean? But I never ever <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Jump it. <laughs> yes, I don't one thing I um try to do is I accept all compliments. Yes, I do. Because I used to be one of those people that practice false modesty on the daily. Oh, Janice, you look nice today. And I'll be like, oh, my hair is a mess. Right? Excuse me. I'll be like, oh, my hair is a mess. No. If somebody says, Janice, you look nice today, I'll say, oh, thank you. Sometimes I might be like, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I be joking, but I, but I don't. <laughs> Accept your greatness. Accept that you are beautiful. Accept that people love you. Accept that you can have 
anything in this world you want except that you are the current you are the current see get it you are the current you provide the provision and the vision you provide all of that you know oh for real Absolutely, Burns, you are so right. And you know what? I'm looking for a healthy balance in all of that. Cheerful givers are a lot of the times bad receivers. We can't receive very well. Everybody in that knows me will tell you that Janice is always giving. I mean, I am. As a matter of fact, I had to stop going on YouTube so much because I was every five minutes I was sending money <laughs> I said wait a minute hold on let me take a break you know I, yeah I just love yeah yes bad at receiving that's why I'm glad YouTube has it set up to where if people want to donate you you know we can donate you know what I mean so you got to, you know, allow your current to come through you, flow through you, and then out, right? Come through you and then flow out. You are the current. So just let it keep going. Blessings come in, you send them out. Blessings come in. If you're not letting them come in, then you can't really send them out like the universe wants you to. So let the accept all gifts. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But it's good to be a good receiver. Me too. Oh my God, Vern's Junk Closet. You are simply the best. I love that you said that. Receive graciously absolutely receive graciously that is beautiful i'm gonna have to use that <laughs> yes i now receive graciously and that's where i'm at you know now that can vary from person to person because i can receive from some people excuse me i'm so sorry i hate doing this I can receive from some people and not receive from others. Like, you know, I could, you know, from, to say, Tay, I could get from him all day and not him. But just say, like, if somebody was on my job was to give me something, I'd be like, oh, my God. <laughs> I, I can't take that, but no. Thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, oh my goodness, thank you so much. Yes. You know? So, yeah. A morning ramble. I'm just rambling, but... These are facts. These are facts. And, Vern's Junk Closet, thank you so much for coming in. You're awesome. You are awesome. You know what, to be honest, I haven't seen you in so Yeah, thank you, Kylie. <laughs> that is too cute. Yes, thank you, Kylie. <laughs> that was cute. Woo. But good. I'm going to bust the slab down and get ready to get on this run. I love you, sis. Thank you so much for coming in. And if anybody watches this, um, from now until the next 50 years, go to Vern's Junk Closet. Until this video perishes, go to Vern's Junk Closet. She is incredible, amazing. She helps the small YouTuber, you know. And she is 
such a an amazing spirit so thank you so much sweetie i love you and um do me a favor and have the best day ever love and peace and prosperity to us all